What's up guys? Bad boy here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily do the cows with an assassin who's basically a little bitch, which is my assassin. Because her gear sucks. Let me show you what she has going on right now. POS Claw that I found, probably in nightmare mode. So just for the two skills, I should probably make Spirit, but I really have only found a single Amrun so far. So I'm actually going to make the Spirit Shield. I'm about to do that. Found these gloves from Nightmare Mephisto. Use them for their increased attack speed, <coughs> which applies toward trap laying. So keep that in mind. You want to be able to lay traps as fast as possible. SOJ found it in Act 2 Nightmare, a second unique I found in D2R, so very lucky. Don't remember where I found this, it's going to break soon. Uh, just, I haven't found shit for belts. Uh, crappy ring. Boots, just for the 18 MF, it's not much, but it's something. I'm about to replace, temporarily anyway, this Rhyme Shield. Three to traps. I'll admit to you dogs, Mud, uh, one of my patrons. May you have many wives, sir. He straight up threw this shit on the ground and I took it, alright? It was a handout. Actually, that was, uh, no, that was, uh, that wasn't Mud. That was Dane. Yeah, Dane gave me this amulet. Because Mud which is a patron of mine as well, thank you sir. And uh, and he stole that fucking jaw from me. But, but that's in the past, I'm done bitching about that. But but Mud, uh, it, he didn't steal it, it was just, it was at my feet, okay? And he picked, it, he, he got it fair and square. So that's that's the thing about Diablo 2, is you gotta pick up things fast, you know? You gotta be quick. You gotta be on the ball, dog. But Mud gave me this, cause we all murdered Mephisto. They were helping me out in hell. I think they already completed the quest. So we murdered Mephisto and this fell. Three to traps, hell yeah. He snatched it, I snatched basically everything else that Mephisto dropped. I didn't think I missed out, but he said, hey, three to traps sir, let from Mephisto. And he, he threw it on the ground and I took it. Stealth armor, piece of junk. All right, so I'm going to socket this Monarch. Remember, if you find a Monarch, and you Larzuk quest it with a socket quest, you get four sockets. Tal, Thal, Hort, Om. It ranges from 25 to 35. Faster cast rate. Now, 32, that's not bad. Now with this character, faster cast rate doesn't matter all that much at all. Most of your, uh, well, all your trap laying, for example, those are all increased attack speed. So if you had like Enigma, You'd want to have faster cast rate for the teleport. So there you go. Get about 600 more damage. Hell yeah. But now I don't have Cannot Be Frozen, so my thoughts were I could put on this junk armor. Uh, but she's not going to run as fast now. Oh, looks a little better. It's kind of a nice look, actually. Hawk mail. Okay, so let me show you what Ice Boy is about to do. First off, uh, something I've been doing a lot is I've been running Eldritch and uh, Shank. All right, just got to get a couple corpses out and then cast Death Sentries and pop that shit. Now the problem is uh, this character doesn't have much magic find. Look at this. What is she at? Twenty six magic find. And I had an additional twenty five from that Rhyme Shield, which is nice. Now, you want to cast Cloak of Shadows. This is uh, going to be similar to what I've been doing on the cow level. You know, if you're weak, like uh, what my character is, you really want to utilize your Cloak of Shadows. And uh, just have it on a hotkey. You can use it every, I don't know, 10 seconds or something like that. Um, I usually just use it when I run into a massive crowd of enemies, especially if there are ranged enemies, or just enemies that are moving fast and chasing you. Those are the times in which you want to cast it, because then some of them motherfuckers ain't going to be able to see you. All right, like the archers and the raccoon, or not the raccoons, but the, the porcupines and shit, you know, they're not going to be able to see you. Not all of them anyway, you're going to blind day's ass, so they're not going to be able to hit you. And if they're running fast after you, like those 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 thorny mofos uh, by Shank, if, if those spawn by them, you know, you're going to be able to confuse them a little bit. <clears throat> Mind Blast is also an option to convert them, but I just, I haven't been using that. Your minion uses Mind Blast a little bit. But, so I've been running that. Oh, gosh. 
Yeah, Fatty needs a new graphic card. Uh, tippy Tippy Jar in the description below if y'all want to help me get there, buy a new graphic card. If y'all want to contribute anyway. Uh, those fucking things are scarce right now, okay? I, I didn't know that. Oh, I already killed him! You wanna, you wanna kill Pendle though. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a new game. And I'm gonna make the cow level, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I just collected Word Slag from Tristram. Making the cow level. Toad. R repair. Oh, and it has two sockets. Holy shit. Godly as fuck helm. I'm keeping that shit. Godly as fuck. Alright. So make the cow level. Here's what you gotta do. Now, I haven't been using my minion. I've only done this once, but I was like, damn. This is actually working out very well. And, uh, I mean, shit, it might even be better than the Amazon early on. Because the Amazon can be difficult when you don't have a ton of pierce. Uh, when Not not pierce lightning, but uh, just pierce through the enemies. You want to really duplicate the lightning fury. But here's what you do, alright? You, you hurt them up a little bit, as usual. Get, you just gotta kill one or two. You can cast Cloak of Shadows to confuse them, see that? So they're not chasing you as much. Once you kill one, start casting your Death Sentry, see that? Wipe Day's ass out, man. Now the Cow King can sometimes be a problem, and you're not always going to be able to kill him. Uh, early on, because sometimes he's going to be... Hell yeah. And when you start... Oh, shit. When you start pop... Yeah, I just got a little overconfident right there. But when you start popping corpses... When you get a few corpses out, you want to run near the corpses, okay, so that they start hurting around you. You see that? Hell yeah. Yeah, he's immune to lightning and um, physical, so I'm not going to be able to kill him. I could kill all his homies. God damn this fucking graphics card. Uh, I'm going to have to turn down the settings a little bit again. Whoops. Made a minion. Yeah, d try not to make a minion. Because you want to be able to herd them around, and if you have your mercenary out, or your uh, summon, she's going to distract them, you see that? And you want them to kind of get in a line. So here you go. So you don't always want to cast Cloak of Shadows unless you kind of get in a tight predicament. See, once you start popping a couple corpses... Run up by the corpse, and then they'll all start swarming around you, because you want them to be in close proximity to the corpses. You see that? Hell yeah. Oh shit, is that an oath base? Nope. Look for that oath base. Balrog blade, ethereal, ethereal, and uh, four sockets, alright? Or if it's uh, not socketed at all, you can large it, quest it if you want. Or you could risk it and cube socket it and hope for 40s. 40s, hell yeah. 40s motherfucking Balrog blade, ethereal. All right, there you go. See, that's this is working out quite all right. Now, what I think I'm going to do is actually found a four-socketed armor. It's not a good base. It's a uh, embossed plate, so 125 strength requirement, and uh, it's actually a medium armor. Yeah, I, I don't. I think embossed plate, gothic slash, what uh, word? Lacquered. I think those are mediums and not heavies. I could be wrong. But either way, it's going to slow down your run speed. So it's it's not ideal. High strength and it slows you down. But that's the best I've found so far in terms of four socketed armors. But yeah, man. This is toad as fuck. Uh, so, see, check that out. Now, I'm not even going all that hard. You know, like, you probably want to get a larger horde of cows than this. Pop that ass. Pop that ass. And then run up in there. Hell yeah. So if I get that 40s embossed base that I have, if I make a bunch of perfect toe passes, four of them, to be exact, we get like 96 MF on there. So I might do that. And you, you don't really have to be too concerned about cannot be frozen on your character in the cow level. And it's always nice to have, but... Put the traps in, you know what I'm saying? You're staying away from them for the most part. Oh, I didn't even cast any death sentries there. Yeah, for the traps in, you don't really need Cannot Be Frozen. If you're just running cows. 
I mean, or even really Shank and uh, his homie for that matter. But I mean, it's nice to have. I really hate going without that shit, which is why I usually wear Rhyme Shield damn near end game until I can find a Ravenfrost or a Charm Rune or maybe a more niche item character that has CBF with it, it does. But yeah, I mean, now this character, like as you've seen, I actually have some decent plus skill gear. I don't have any GCs. Pick up them jewels. Uh, pick up all the jewels you find, especially in hell. You want to get the ones with increased attack speed or the ones with uh, res resist all, especially if either of those options have uh, an additional mod on them. I mean, shit, if you get an increased attack speed slash enhanced damage jewel, it's worth uh, potentially a lot of high runes, all right? 40 is the max enhanced damage that it can offer. Now, if you find an increased attack speed with max damage, that's worth a lot as well. Uh, especially like a 15 IS slash 15 uh, max damage. You know, that's worth a lot, dog. So hang on to that shit. Especially... Uh, even later, I would say, later in the ladder, those are those actually increase in value, to my understanding, because more folks are making, uh, you know, melee characters. Because right now, you know, all the caster stuff is all in demand. But once they start branching out and making, you know, alternative characters, Frenzy Barbarians, Bozons, Whirlwind Barbarians, you know, shit like that, um... Those things start becoming very valuable. Hell yeah. Pick up the claws and shit. The claws, you know, you want to pick up the magic claws as well. Potentially you get like a three to traps, two to all skills, roll or some shit like that. You can, you can get some godly as fuck magic claws. Pick up the magic claws, pick up the, the rare claws as well. I, I think you can even chop some of those from Anya. But I pick them up. Identify him. Blade shield on there. Six life bleach, cute little ring. Yeah, man, I'm just taking my time here, but this... I mean, if I'm going to stack some MF, you know, I'm going to put on that emboss play. I'll show you. I'm going to slow this bitch down so much. Because I need some... I'm sick of this shit. You know, my gear just sucks. Uh, so I'm fixing up, up the ante a little bit here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, look at that shit pop. Um, and check this out. 13.3 yard radius, because you want as many points in this as possible. You want to max it out, obviously, max out your light sentry. I mean, here's her skills. <clears throat> light sentry, my gear's doing 4800. This is doing 2100, but you're primarily wanting it to pop corpses. You can actually get it to shoot more times every three points you put into Fire Blast. I only have one point into Fire Blast. So I might as well put two more in uh, sooner than later. But I'm kind of prioritizing other things. You know, I want to max out Shock Web for the final synergy. So I have, you know, as you can see, about 10 points to put in that still. Almost 10 levels, and I probably have a few skill quests I didn't do. So at 81, at, at the latest, I'll be able to max that, and then I could start branching out. I put a few points into Shadow Master. I think uh, maybe three in total. Two in total. Three in total. So Shadow Master, you know, once you start getting her up there, she's just really helpful. Um, but of course, there are situations where you don't really want to use her. And like right now in the cows. I mean, the cows is really the only place where I don't like to use her. So it's, it's nice to have her doing bow runs. It's nice to have her doing... Uh, yeah, Sanctuary, you know, it mitigates damage, uh, it's kind of a decoy for you, a very utility-based decoy. I mean, she'll cast Mind Blast, she'll convert enemies, uh, she'll cast traps, you know, she'll go up there and swap Day's ass, you know, things like that. And eventually, yeah, usually you want to do this earlier on. I was just getting so greedy, I, I wanted to up my damage, so, <clears throat> to the point where I was like, fuck it, I'm not even going to, uh... I'm not even going to put one into Dragonfly, I'm just going to wait. Obviously, on game, you might want to have Enigma. That's kind of what I want, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to attain that shit. Um, I know some of you already have it. 
But end game for this build, I would say Enigma is it. Enigma is where it's at. Just getting around faster, the skills, the run walk speed, the MF, the strength, so you can pump your vitality up, the DR, this, you know, the skills I haven't mentioned, it just everything about Enigma is so toad for this character. Of course, you don't take advantage of the uh, life per demon kill, but uh, in my case, I actually will if I'm wearing Rift, because I intend to kick the shit out of some things. So things that I kill with my kick and with Frozen Ore, I'll benefit from the life after demon kill even. Yeah, eventually you want to put one into that. And put one into Cloak of Shadows as soon as you can, alright? Don't fuck around. You might want to, and after I get 81, I might up this a little bit. I'm going to check my breakpoints. You're going to go online, check your breakpoints for your trap lane, for a, what weapon base you're wielding in hand. And you might have to put a few more points in Versus Speed to hit the next breakpoint, which is going to be extremely helpful. See, right now she casts it slow. But watch this, now I'm going to cast Burst of Speed, and then cast it faster. Saves so much time. The more, I mean, the more IS you have, you're at those top breakpoints. <clears throat> and it's more defensive. I mean, you don't want to take forever laying the traps. You're going to get swatted. You're going to get whacked. You want it to be quick, you know, and you want to run fast as fuck, too. Fast as a toad, so... That's uh, kind of what you should be going for, man. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. It's been a good time. And uh, become a patron if you want. Links in the description below. Or dono dono in the tippy jar. Or buy ice toad a coffee. I'm going to go guzzle some like a little fish in just a minute here. Guzzle some coffee. I've been trying to stop around noon. I woke up late today, ain't gonna lie. Should've got that ass out of bed earlier, but I woke up late, man. So I might, maybe I'll drink coffee till one. And then I'm gonna set that fucking alarm, get up, get on the bike. I'm still gonna get on the bike today. I'm gonna go on the bike, I'm gonna hit the weights a little bit. But yeah, uh, for those of you who support me, links in the description below. And those of you who are already, thank you. May your finances be blessed. May the Creator bless you and keep you, and may you have many wives. Peace be with you.